dumb, cool, weird podcast. All right, so welcome to the Dumb, Cool, Weird podcast. Uh, we're now doing movies from the 20th century, bad movies. Very bad movies. Yeah, and we're giving us, giving our, you know, unbiased opinion. We're being raw, and we're we're kind of going going for it. So today we got a movie called King Kung Fu, a movie from the 70s that didn't get released until the late 80s. Yeah, that was a bad movie. Yeah, so basically this movie is just one big, you know, advertisement for Wichita, Kansas, which, by the way... If you live in Wichita, Kansas, you suck. Yeah, your town fucking sucks, man. Yeah. I, I'm sorry to say that, but town fucking sucks. Yeah, I'm not a. I can't say I'm a big fan of Wichita, Kansas, personally. You know, uh, people from Kansas are pretty nice, but I bet they're also happy to get the fuck out of Kansas because of that roaming giant gorilla that does kung fu. Yep, King Kung Fu himself. It's, um, you know, we watched this movie because mm-hmm. the angry video game nerd told us that it was a. Uh, Terrible, yeah, terrible but fun film, and we uh, we believed him, and that was a bad idea because it's fucking terrible, like it's not even bad. in a good way. It's it's not good. See, it's not like you watch Starship Troopers and you're just like, wow, you know, this is a really good bad movie. No, this was zero entertainment mm-hmm. all the time. Well, what really frustrates me about King Kung Fu is, is you can tell that that they had a little bit of a budget to begin with. They tried yeah. to make the movie, and then they just shelved it and didn't do anything with it. So then they half ass brought it back out yep. in the mid-'80s to try to do something with it, and <clears> then <throat> this is what they come up with. You know, They should have just shelved it for good and just not bothered with it because it looks very dated even for like the late-'80s and early-'90s. You, know? you mean late-'70s and early-'80s? Well, yeah. I guess it looks even dated from when they were trying to film it. So, But I'm just saying... Because it looked mo- like... It looked mo- like a color, uh, like a film that finally got color. Yeah, but the thing is, like the movie was made in the <clears throat> the seventies, and then yeah. they didn't get released till the late eighties. That's what I that's when I looked oh, it up okay, online. Okay. That's what it said. Um, but basically, you know, this this might be a short like review because we didn't really like it very much. But it was bad. But basically, to take you through the whole story, literally, there's a kung fu gorilla that lives in. China, and by the way, the, the his Chinese, Chinese master, master is 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 a white guy doing yellow face. A, definitely a redneck yeah. white guy, like you know, yeah, but Midwestern truck stop fatty. Yep, and basically what ends up happening is you know the gorilla was raised by him. The the master, like his master, like taught him kung fu and stuff, and then basically beats the shit out of his master. He like throws him around. To be fair though, the master, this kung fu master of his, did fuck with him on the whole like get the banana out of my hand thing and he broke his arm broke his arm yeah you don't i mean you don't do that to a gorilla first of all gorilla's gonna fuck you up first off never do monkey business with a gorilla yeah they'll 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 go very ape on you you know ape shit ape shit (laughs) so you know my uh you know my, my my thing is this you know you know, the movie basically takes place in Wichita, Kansas, which I mm-hmm. said is an advertisement for, for Kansas, and obviously the local, you know, eateries and, and things to and do, businesses and shit. Like, like you, you, you see, like, you see, like, a scene where they have Pizza Hut, you see a scene where they have the tallest building in Wichita, which, which was, was the Holiday Inn. Yeah, Holiday Inn. And then you see, like, other businesses just plastered everywhere. And, oh, yeah, like the zoo? Yeah, like the zoo. <laughs> and then in the middle of the movie, uh, the guy, like, breaks the fourth wall and, like, looks into the camera and goes, oh, it's almost like they should go to Wichita, Kansas. Kansas. And then th- this music starts playing, in the and it's just, like, landscape shots. And literally, King Kung Fu is just walking around, looking around. He's just like, oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, and then the local baseball team gets beat up by King Kung Fu. Yep, King Kung Fu whips their ass. But basically, the whole the whole plot of the story is is China sends King Kung Fu over to the United States as a peace offering. Yeah, and basically, these two fucking dumbasses, who apparently do local news, and they were they weren't even local news. They were just like like the, they're they like were the basically na- they're like, like the, the uh, National Enquirer or something. Yeah, like that. they're the Wayne's World. Yeah. They're on a public access television, mm-hmm. and they're like, "What we want to do the news for real?" Yep, and they're like, "Why does the actual why is this news broadcaster who is actually talented and intelligent yep. Yep. like why is he telling the news it could be us yep and when i and when i see that guy the the guy uh the, the his his buddy his buddy kind of reminds me of a a cross between david cross and like um some other groucho some, yeah groucho yeah that's pretty much groucho what it, was. Mar- it was like a groucho Marx, david cross cross uh, like crossbreed yeah 
And then basically what ends up happening, though, is they unveil King Kung Fu. They show up, they film it. And while 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 they're like while they're getting set up and everything, we basically see all these characters that they establish that are supposed yeah. to be jokes and like basically like little bits. They have like a group of grannies who don't like to see animals naked or something, which is yeah, fucking weird. There was no explanation of that. Yeah. Like at least with zero explanation, we can understand that for some reason the mm. sheriff of the town is trying to be John Wayne 100% of the time. Yeah, he says pilgrim after everything he says. He's just he's he's full on John Wayne. He never breaks character. Yep, pretty much. And then you got the general guy who's like, "Well, we got him in Wichita, Kansas. We literally have him surrounded." <laughs> yeah. As a landlocked state. Yeah. Yeah. You so could we... say we got him surrounded. Yep. <laughs> and he, and you can see the pain in his like face when he says it. It's you know what? Funny. I bet you that was like his dad, like yeah. some Korean War vet. Yeah. But they just dre- that they're like, hey, dad, get in your old uniform. We're gonna just like, we're gonna we're gonna church this up a little bit. He's like, oh shit, I want you out of my basement. Yep, pretty much. And then you you have at the at the at the Pizza Hut, by the way, you have the one dude's girlfriend slash not sure if it's his girlfriend. It's never really a hundred percent. She's just there. She's she kind of there. Dates him. Yep, she just goes and dates him. But then she feels sorry for King Kung Fu because basically what they try to do is they try to set up King Kung Fu as like this menace to society so they can find a story. And then she has like this sympathy for <laughs> King Kung Fu. And yeah. basically like they let him out and he goes on a fucking spree just whipping everybody's ass. Like he whips the shit out of the cops. Like they're doing like backflips and shit. He's whipping their ass. So oh yeah, good. he's like spin kicking people in the head. It's like yeah. all I could think of is this, now this whole police force is mentally retarded from getting kicked in the head by a gorilla. Yep. And he, he just doesn't show any mercy. But the thing is, mm-hmm. like, there's a there's a part in the movie, like, you know, because basically once he's let out and he's roaming around, that's when shit gets really weird and the plot gets a little strange because, like, yeah. everybody's chasing him. Like, the, mm-hmm. the you know, the, the the two guys with the girl are chasing him, the cops are chasing him, and they're trying to figure out where King Kung Fu is. And then you get to see, like, it's a, it's, it says from what I read that that's, like, his inner dialogue yeah. like, going on in his head, but it's, like, this weird, like thing where he's like he's oh i better make like a banana and split yeah you know? at least he's doing a bunch of gorilla puns yeah at least we got that yeah we got we, yeah we, we had that to work with and basically what ends up happening is, is it turns into like a mad mad world type of movie where basically they're racing against the clock to get to king kung fu and he's he's on he basically what ends up happening is he mm-hmm. He ends up getting on a on a hot air balloon with the chick and then the cop and the two reporters like end up chasing him yeah and then when they get <laughs> To the building, I swear to God, Nick, that is the worst stop motion yeah, I've yeah, ever seen in my life. Is rough. <laughs> and so, like, basically, they're on top of the Holiday Inn building, fucking fighting them, and it's supposed to be like an homage to like King Kong. Yeah, but, but it just it didn't really hit very well, in my opinion. I like I like how the uh, the they established that he also the one of the news reporters knows kung fu because he channels his rage to break things. Yes, that was bad. <laughs> and basically, what ends up happening is they fight. <laughs> King you Kung know, Fu falls off the building. King Kung Fu falls off the building. He gets into the helicopter. He takes. He flies off into the sunset. The guy gets the girl. The the police officers are foiled, and that's pretty much the whole fucking movie. Yeah. And there's two things that stick out to me about this movie that I really didn't like. I didn't like that scene where <clears throat> the dude's like henchman that was working with him. Yeah. Like his his buddy who was also part of the da- David Marks. Whatever, whatever. Uh, like, I feel like, like you said, it looks like Groucho Marx yeah, some, and David Cross and David mixed Cr- together. Yeah, so basically what he ends up doing is he goes on this whole thing where he goes and, and pursues the gorilla by himself. Yeah. Ends up getting the girl, and then it turns out it was all just a fucking fantasy. Yeah, but it never established he was sleeping. No, there was no, no, nothing. There was no, like, establishment that it was a fantasy. And then we get to see the real thing happen, and then he's like a little bitch and gets put in jail. Which still, there's a scene over there. There's, like, a lot of choppy scenes, like, where he runs into one of the police officers, and the guy's like, hey, where'd you come from? And then it just chops over to him, like, yeah, chloroforming yeah, the yeah. next guy. Yeah, and it, and, and it doesn't establish what, what, what happened to the cop that said that. Like, it was the worst editing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And then I also didn't really like um, – I really didn't like the bit where it it turns mm-hmm. out like it actually was an advertisement for Wichita, Kansas. Because yeah. basically they're sitting in the girl's apartment and they go, oh, it's almost like they should go to Wichita, Kansas. 
And then it cuts to King Kung Fu, and they play like this music, and the music is supposed to set the tone, and then they're like, Wichita, Wichita. It's when you knew the movie was was really dying. Like, they were looking for funding, yeah. and somebody was like, yeah, you know what? If you can somehow match in Wichita, Kansas in here, yeah, we, we'll give you some money. Well, that's uh, that was right, and right after that, that's when he went. That's when he went to the baseball park, beat the shit out of the fucking like baseball yeah. players. I mean, we're kind of circling back a lot, but I mean, it, it was an odd fucking movie. Yes, it was. I mean, you could definitely tell that they ran out of money, and they were just trying to push this thing out, and it looked like somebody shot it on a fucking camcorder. Yeah, you know, and it may have been shot on film. I don't know. I mean, they. Around that time period, they had 16 millimeter and 8 millimeter cameras, but I mean, it was shot in the 70s, so they probably didn't have videotape mm-hmm. yet. So it was probably shot on like, probably like 8 or 16 millimeter film, but it just, it's not a good movie. And we looked up to look at the actors and stuff, and none of the actors went anywhere. The director no. didn't make another movie. So basically, what we're saying is it's a fucking turd, and yeah. it's not even a fun turd. It's, we were it's, lied to. It's fucking terrible. And, James Roll from Cinemassacre, Angry Video Game Nerd. No, dude. You it's not, it is not a it is not an entertaining <laughs> movie because he was like, it's a fun little movie. No, it's not. It's not fun. It's it's terrible. It was it was like pulling teeth. I don't ever want to see it again. If we have to watch it again, Nick, I will fucking burn something down. Ah, well, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure Dawsonville can take some more damage considering this town's shit anyways. Yeah. But that's King Kung Fu. Don't watch it. We don't want to talk about it again. That's it. Yep. So, you know, go check out our website. Our logo has been updated. We're going to start trying to live stream on Twitch, the movies we're going to be watching. And then we're going to talk, then we'll have the regular podcast come out like later on in the week. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so, support us. We yeah. don't, we don't care. Yeah. So, no, uh, stay sexy, Georgia. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the Dumb Cool Weird podcast. We're a movie podcast now. So, Movie Monday is every Monday about crappy movies from the 20th century. It's going to be great, folks. I can't wait to show y'all.